Hello everyone, Sachin this side. In this video, I am going to talk about how can we access Google Sheet API using by code. I am going to use Java plus Maven and we will see how can we access Google Sheet API. Okay. In last video, we have generated this port 2.0 client IDs and where we have generated, you know, the token and which is having JSON file, it is having some, some key and values, uh, you know, pair and which help to access the API, which help to generate the token and refresh token. There are lots of things, okay? And that, that I'll explain how or two is going to work. Okay, let's start. So before starting, uh, in last video, I have downloaded this or 2.0 client IDs already. And if you want, you can download from here again. Okay, so if you want, I can click here. Okay, and this we can download. All right, so now this we have downloaded now we can use this client secret this is called the client secret that we can use inside our code okay in order to access the google sheet api all right let's start so i'm going to open you know eclipse in eclipse i am going to you know create one project and project i am going to create you know maven project okay and i am going to skip archetype and this you can also do and I, i'll tell you the reason why i'm doing because when i'm doing this then resource folder is creating automatically that is you know very important in order to implement this google sheet api okay because google sheet api it is looking uh, you know that secret token inside that folder that i'll show you okay i'm what i'm going to talk about so i am going to click next so com okay so google sheet api demo let's see or i can use the youtube as well it is for youtube okay and now i'm going to click on finish let's see it is creating yeah it has created now if i open right here you can see this folder called src main resource i am going to talk about this folder this is very important and if you are creating manually right resource then it is throwing lots of error that that was my observation it's up to you how you are creating this folder resource because google secret it will uh, be need to keep inside this folder otherwise it, it will not accept okay so now src man java so what i'm going to do i am opening here and uh, in last video i have given this you know link like quick start java and uh, here if you follow right these steps we have followed already and uh, we are able to generate uh, you know a, a client secrets okay and uh, if you want to access google sheet api then these are dependencies and this is you know for a gradle and uh, i am going to use you know maven so i need to you know download maven dependencies all these these three uh, these dependencies and this is a piece of the code which can help to access the google sheet api all right we are good till here okay so what i'll do so first pom.xml if i go here pom.xml okay and let me take reference from the old code and these are the dependencies that i'm going to talk about okay that i am going to keep here okay and just for recheck you can see 2.0.0 this one 1.34.1 and this one 2.00 okay and this 206 here okay this is a bit different okay and everything is you know other others are same wait 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 sorry 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 this is something is for gmail that that i'm going to you know of keep on hold to so these three dependencies i have added and last one is this like you can see 927 it is also matching okay so all three is there now if i go here src main java and this is a test java so inside the test java i am going to create this class
okay and this is a piece of the code i am just you know copy just save code. okay do we see any error no error right all right so we are good till here okay so what you need to do just you need to you know execute this okay i'll explain you what are the code here and what is happening so it is saying resource not found credential dot json it is looking for this one credential dot json okay and this file you need to keep inside resource okay so this is this this one client secret okay so let me keep this file okay so i have kept this file and i am going to rename this file as credential okay and go to refactor rename and just keep this okay all right so what i'll do i'll you know quickly refresh this project so that all paths should be set automatically okay so we are good here so just i am going to execute this okay and you can see here it is asking you know uh, uh, for the authentication and during authentication it has thrown some error like access blog this app's request is invalid okay let's see what is that and if i see here you can't sign in into this app because it does not comply the google or 2.0 policy okay request detail okay it is saying you need to add this redirect uri all right let's add this we have to add so here you can see here last time we have created this or 2.0 client id that is called client secret so if you click here when you click here immediately you will see you know this credential okay and here you will see this add uri option okay so just click here redirect uri this is a two two parameter what was that okay so the need to in redirect uri okay so what i'll do go to redirect uri and just paste that link here here you can see a redirect uri and just add and click on save okay and it has added okay so what i'll do i am going to close this one okay let's see what is the error okay what i'll do i'll close this and let me execute one more time and it is saying address already in use so there's a problem in clips okay and it won't execute okay so what you need to do you need to restart the eclipse So Eclipse just restarted. Okay, let it load. Okay, it it has loaded. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to execute again. Now here you can see this is ID. Automation Champions at Gmail dot com. Okay, and it is saying it is going to send the token on this mobile number. Let me approve. Okay, I have entered the code. Let me click on next. Oh, still it is throwing the error. Okay, let's see. this 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 okay request it will access type offline this okay click on done automation has not completed google verification was this apparently being tested and can be accessed by developer or approved tester so we need to add one tester if you think you should have access then con contact to developer so what i'll do let me add this email id Okay. So, 
Now click on this auth consent screen. If you click here, you will get option to you know test user. So you can add that user and I have added that you know ID automation champions at gmail.com. Okay. So I am adding one test user. Let's wait until it is you know going to add and it has added okay so now we are good so if i if i refresh what i'll do we can do one thing we can copy this link okay and we can you know paste here and refresh this we can do manually okay and continue okay and click on continue receive verification code you may now close the window okay so it is verification has been successful now i am going to close this and if i go to eclipse and here you can see the result okay so what happened here let me explain so this is the one one sheet it is given by google and if i you know this is a seat okay duplicate all right so this is a sheet you can see here and this sheet is given by google it is having some data and this data we are reading here you can see here alexander in english first column and you know the e column fifth column and how how it is happening it is happening from here zero to fourth row this row we are printing and all data we can see here on the screen all right so we are good okay and how it is working just we have kept that you know access token file inside this resource folder and this resource folder we are we need to mention in this path and apart from this okay the sheet id and is plenty of the code if you want to deep dive you can go through on this link and you can you know uh, spend some time you can understand all the api which api how it is working okay how to create the new sheet how to read data how to write data there are plenty of things and you can read as per your requirement okay so in this session we did the two things one we have added one uh, redirect uri based on the error and other things we have added the test user two things then we are able to access and in the first video we have uh, generated client secret and the same client secret we are using in this code and make sure when you are creating eclipse project this resource folder should create automatically if you are creating manually it will throw error like this file unable to find this credentials or json I faced lots of issues and I uh, I was trying to find you know some workaround but I couldn't and this is working fine when you create this project in such a way. All right, so we are good till here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do? I am taking the code. Okay, whatever I did, you know some. You know, I was I was playing with those API and what I'll do? I'll you know copy the same code and will try to understand how it is working all right so what i'm going to do i am going to you know copy some code okay so this is the same code okay here you can see here whatever the code okay whatever we have printed so what i'll do i'll take this whole code and i will uh, okay i will keep it here okay fine and this would be you know this would be quick start okay fine one changes you can see here i have added this you know forward slash path okay it was throwing some error if i don't add i was find the solution on the google okay fine there is no error okay all right let me try to execute this code and we should able to see some response okay it is asking one more time again okay 
continue okay i am giving the axis okay and now i am going to close this okay permission denied okay oh because of the sheet right some wrong sheet i okay the problem is i have given you know some wrong sheet uh, you know what i'll do let me make a copy for the sheet file and you know make a copy copy of example is fine okay okay so there's a sheet it is in my okay it is my drive now this sheet i will use now okay let's see this time what is happening yeah it is working fine okay the problem was right the seed it was created in some different account and that is the reason it was showing an error okay and here we can see we are able to uh, you know get all the users and last is will and math you can see here all right okay so now now what what i'm going to showcase you okay let's see if i don't add this okay i, I was getting one error if i don't add this path okay let me try one more time if it is working fine then we are good otherwise need to add the path let's see okay for this use it is working fine okay might be some you know some different call it might fail that time we will see how we can fix okay so till here and here you can see here how what we are reading we are reading from a to to e a to this is the cell a to till e this is a column okay and uh, this is this is what where we can mention the range and which column we are going to read and this code you can go through manually and you can easily understand how this code is working okay and now uh, we will you know explore uh, you know some code and uh, now next sheet like if you want to create a new sheet so what i'll do this in this example i am reading you know existing sheet data now if you're having some request no i want to create one new sheet okay the client is asking like um, every day when your automation uh, run that time you need to write some data in the new excel sheet and that sheet you need to send the link every day so client they are asking you know to write some data in google sheet so how we can generate okay so for that okay let it read so what i'll do so first we required you know the instance of the sheet okay so this is the piece of the code and where you know uh, uh, it will give you know the instance of the sheet okay so from this reference okay this reference it will be assigned on top here you can see here okay this is a static variable and if you go here and this is a piece of a code to create the new sheet okay and if i open this method and here you can see here okay there's a piece of the code and here two things you know to define so one is the main title of the sheet so main title this is the main title of the sheet so i am giving as of now my name and you know uh, this is the sheet name okay so this is the spread sheet name and this is a sheet name so this is the spread sheet property and the sheet property so sheet property i'm saying test sheet one this one okay and uh, this is this is the method it will call like create what the spread sheet okay and now we are going to execute this method when it execute it will create so we are having you know two one we can you know print spread sheet id like create response dot get spread sheet id or url it's up to you what you are looking for okay and this piece i am not going to execute one by one we'll see what is happen okay so what i'll do i'll comment this piece of code okay fine so i can do this way okay 
yeah fine so i am going to execute on okay what i we will see we will see like it will read that see data the similar way and it is going to create one new sheet as well let's see okay it is throwing some error 4 node 3 google sheet spreadsheet authentication scope permission denied okay okay so we are getting you know lots of errors could be like we don't have the permission to create the sheet is that okay let me try to you know use this this part on tokens dot path and let's see the code spreadsheet drive okay we have given the access for spreadsheet and drive okay let's see let me try to execute one more time yeah so here you can see this time it is working fine okay so you know this is this was causing the issue talk uh, tokens and path if you are given this directory then this taken for you know to create the sheet okay and let me try to open this okay if i open and here we will see the same name we have what what name we have mentioned here if you go here okay this code is not organized okay when you when you are trying to incorporate google sheet then you you need to create you know small small methods you need to organize the code this is only for learning purpose i am not saying this is a better approach okay but this is the process how you can do and when you are trying to leverage google sheet this is how you can leverage but code you can organize in some better way okay you can you can uh, you know reduce couple of lines which is unnecessary in this okay so the main purpose how we can access google sheet okay all right i was here so the main sheet uh, spread sheet name was sachin gupta and sheet name test sheet 1 it is fine yeah perfect and if you see here if i go into the sheet okay sheet sheets okay here you can see here we don't have you know must data we are having one sachin gupta my name sheet so what i'll do this time i am going to write data as well sachin gupta latest something okay i am you know updating the sheet name so that we can see it is it is it has created or not new sheet and now we will try to understand how to you know create uh, how to write data into the sheet okay so if you if you want to write so there is a method called write sheet this is this is not the actual method okay if you want to see the actual method the actual method would be this one spread sheet and values and update this is the method and in this method it will accept you know spread sheet id you can see here i have hover the mouse it will accept the spread sheet id it will accept the range and it will accept the value range content okay so three three thing it will accept it's up to you okay how how you are you know going to you know incorporate this in your in your you know automation script okay so i created this one method so where we are passing input data the data what we are going to write one is a sheet sheet range okay and next one is existing spread sheet id so three things we are passing okay so input data sheet and range what is a range okay if you over the mouse it will here you can mention the range and third one okay this is a id okay but here this order is different and here order is different okay so don't uh, don't be confused so basically this is you know the actual data what we are writing and this is the method and where we have you know accepting few parameter based on this it will write and this is a one more you know important parameter and here you can see this raw okay so this is very important parameter and if you go to google documentation read and write cell 
okay so this is the two things one row and user entered okay i'll explain this is very important things okay so now i am going to in this method oh i have formatted this is a problem in format right if you format it will add a strict all the lines all right Oh, sorry. This is for list. This for the data. And earlier I was using this method, and that I'm not going to use now. Okay, because there is already one method. Okay, fine. So one way you can create the list. list list of object and here you can you know pass the data and uh, that data you know you can you know pass into this method and other one so this is the right sheet okay so right sheet you can you know create like this array as list this way so this is one way and two way which way you like you can you know take the action and you can write and Second things like uh, the range from where you you are going to start. So I am going to start from A one. It should write. And next is a seat ID. So here I am passing the seat ID. So what I am saying one important thing like source. It should just code test result. And here, if I you know pass equal to two plus two. So basically, if you if you pass in Excel, write two plus two equal to, and it will you know uh, convert to the formula. So if you are uh, if you see right this below method F three, if you are you know passing the row, then it will take as a string. Okay, and one more method if you are passing like user entered, then it will take you know the normal form. So I'll explain both. Let's see. So now I have executed this, and we will see so the seat has created. And here we can see four cell updated from here. And if I open this link, okay, you can see here it has created here as well. And here you can see source status code, test status, and two plus two. And here you can see it is not changing. So generally, if you type right two plus two. it will become 4 okay so this is it has accepted in the form of you know a string so it will add you know one single co code at at the you know starting you can see here okay so now if you want to like edit this like whatever we are passing it should be like the similar way so what you can do you need to pass as a user entered okay this one what is that this one user entered so this is the Two way, control B, and R A W row. Okay, so this time it will create one new sheet. Let's see. And this time two plus two it will convert to four. Okay, so you can see this is the latest sheet, first one, and here you here you can see it is converted into four. All right, so here we can see how we can create the new sheet and how to pass you know data in the form of row and how to pass data as like user is entering. Okay, if it is in, it is if it is in the form of the formula, then it should accept as a formula or it should accept as a text. Okay, fine. let me move forward so don't worry i'll keep you know this code into my git repository from where you can access this code and you can play okay around with this code so now now we will see here create new sheet and write sheet okay so what i'm going to do okay i am going to you know comment not this one I require you know spreadsheet ID, but I'm not going. I'm not going to create new spreadsheet. 
and here now this is the one moon method example so this this is this is the one existing seed okay and if i ask you right you, you need to create one new seed into the existing seed like plus if i create here right so sheet 1 okay and write something so what is the benefit like uh, you will have one centralized url and that url you are keep adding the new sheet so that is the one more requirement you are reading data from one sheet and you are adding the test cell into the next sheet continue 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 and you can you know clean up uh, you know, okay in you know one week two week as per your time okay so this is the one more use case so what i'll do i will delete okay this one i will use the sheet same sheet okay so what i'll do you can see here there's no sheet i am going to refresh there's no sheet okay so what i'll do i am going to pass this sheet id here and this is a test shoot test result something okay and if you go into this method and here you can see here this is how you can write okay and you need to use this batch update where it will you know update the existing seed okay this is the piece of code you can go through the google api you will understand you know you you, you can understand easily step by step okay fine so i am going to execute and let's see what will happen execute okay it is executing let's see what happen okay i think uh, i have missed to give the message otherwise it will you know display what is the result so if i am going to refresh this right and here you can see here this test result it has added here you can see here test result okay now in next i am going to write some data in this so what i did like this is you know this is a sheet id which i have captured you know globally if you go here and you can refer this one fr and eky okay so what i'm going to do i'm you know i'm commenting this or if you want you can you know execute again it's it's up to you so what i do i'll create one new sheet like such into and along with i am going to you know write data okay so in this sheet i am you know uh, uh, if you if i hover the mouse so first i am sending the sheet name and the data that i am going to you know add and uh, you know third one it is called spreadsheet id and this is a common existing spreadsheet id okay three things i am sending in this method and if i uh, okay if i open the description for this method and this is you can see here so here one is a method it will you know uh, you know getting the rows how many rows in in that sheet okay so suppose there is a some sheet like if that sheet having you know five rows data then it start right from sixth rows okay so this is what from where we are capturing the get rows and the next row we are writing the data all right let me execute then we will see it is working or not okay the seed zero rows retrieve okay there is no uh, data in the new sheet and three cell updated if you open here okay some name it is taking you know something like section 1 but okay that is fine that we need to fix and here you can see this new sheet created and it has added data as well okay if i scroll it up and here you can see this is a data source status code test status something okay and this is how we can you know create the new sheet as well as we can create the rows and if i want to execute okay i'm going to comment this line if i execute you know something source like uh, source if i say like uh, uh, something https google.com something status code i got like 200 and test status something i it is pass okay so let's see it will update now we should see 
you know some entry here okay here you can see it has added but it has overrid override huh? okay let me see why such in one sorry sorry it was my mistake okay right fine okay so because of you know lots of things messed up okay let me you know delete delete okay okay fine and this would be same i think we can create one global variable otherwise you know lots of problem will create okay let it execute okay fine you can see here the you know headers okay now what i'm going to do i'm you know commenting first one now i am going to override https google.com status code 200 test status is pass something let me execute so what as per me it should append you know the result here let's see here you can see here it is working fine all right that's what i want to cover in this video and in the next video i will you know uh try to capture that things using by automation script i'll use the test ng and where you know i will you know capture you know my test data into one sheet and next sheet it will create at the run time where it will write you know the result like uh, the test is passing or fail and uh, in the next video i'll also talk about how to create the service account and how can we utilize okay thank you everyone that's what i want to cover in this video Thanks for watching if you like please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you happy learning bye bye